naked rider. You're gonna get us banned, man. I got protection. Oh, he's got protection. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're going up here. Yeah. Gonna pick up his fender for the yeah. S22. And then we're gonna go to his place and change tire. Mamma mia, real wanking day, man. Yeah. Real wanking day. Jeez. All right, so we've been to Francois's place now. I'm on the neck. There's, there's something inside me that's going on now because I'm really, really having a good time on this neck. Even with the terrible motor and bearings and everything, but it's, I'm just having a really good time. And we've been riding decently fast, you know, having, holding a good average, but not going terribly fast. So in the world of average riding, you know, you can have an average of 20 miles an hour and never go over 25 miles an hour. But when you start going over 30 miles an hour, then, then the battery starts to go. You start doing 40 miles an hour, and then the battery starts to go. So yeah, and he's on uh, his, his extra wheel, the 18XL. You can hear the characteristic whine of the motor. Yeah, it's crazy fun. So. Yeah, this, this wheel might die any second, who knows, but look what happened to a brand new e EXM. At least I didn't die with it, you know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. A chili to test too. That's a good thing about small wheels. Small wheels, huh? This is like an AR Plus fat neck. Still a really, 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 really good wheel. Insanely good wheel. Oh, yeah. Johnson. Hold on, Johnson. Hey, little kitty. Hey, little kitty. Bye, Long Johnson. I had to stop and touch that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a kid, a minor. Oh, damn it, not again. <laughs> not again, man. I've got to read it. It's a trap, man.
So where was I? I was crossing the street with this charming taxi was like accelerated to the crossing and then stopped. And I'm like, yeah, charming, charming fella. So I point at the green light. And it's like what? And I said, it's a green light. And I said, yeah, but I stopped. Why are you whining? And I said, because it didn't look like you were gonna stop. Because you were ripping up to the crossing. Original EXM. It was a bit slower than my original EXM. The range seems worse than my original EXM. Life can be cool sometimes. Woohoo! So this is that. 18XL with the H5102, which is a very nice tire, very predictable tire, a good multi tire. Yeah. So now, after all that riding on that, try my Nicola just for laughs, man, and, <laughs> and, and die a little. <laughs> I'll park this one I'll, and I'll light a cigarette. I really feel the soft mode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the soft mode. Yeah, the soft mode is soft. But I love that soft mode. It's just a joy to ride. <laughs> what the fuck? And that Nicola is still quieter than my EX30. I was having such a good ride on the EXN yesterday. The tire is pretty quiet, so I could like hear, hear my life. <laughs> you literally feel like a tank. Cause yeah. You can feel and hear the grind. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The grind, man. The grind. <laughs> Respect the grind. Yeah. A new motor. <laughs> so Sebastian asked me what are sprucken på engelska so what is the word sprucken what does it mean <laughs> and like keep it to english in the video I'm like it's cracked because right? that's what happened to his fender it cracked I have a spare one a new one with mine cracked in like at least three places yeah at the top and one at the bottom by the by the kickstand. Mm. 
And my, I lost my kickstand somewhere, somehow. Somewhere, somehow. Man. Yeah. Somewhere, Came somehow. Came home and was like, oh, it's gone. So I got a new one also. Yeah. My EXN motherboard died somewhere, somehow. <gasps> my EX30 started squeaking. So after fiddling around and opening the EXN twice, mm. because Lumo wanted some extra movies, try this, try <laughs> that, do this, do that. So I made some movies. Here you go. The other day I was riding the EX30 and it started squeaking. So I thought I would ride the EXM. And the motherboard blew, I think. The motor is not spinning that freely. So. Uh, a little backwards over torque and it just sent me on my ass. Good times. So it turns on, clicks, the app like quickly detects that it's on and then it shuts itself off. So we will see. A few screws later. Of course, we're not going to see anything because we have the motherboard cover. I wonder what the, the fuse situation is these days. We're still using fuses. So yeah, that's the, the noisy cover. That's the one that gets the... EXN and the RS and so on, all toasty as hell and noisy as hell. So these screws here on the motherboard case, we want to remove them so we don't do any, I want to get the, the screw out so we don't go doing any crazy balancing acts. and then have a screw fall onto the motherboard and short circuit and so on. It's not a good time. So this updated EXN, you know, it doesn't have the hole that goes there, has it here instead. There's not much dust, but you know, I've done like 400 miles on this. I've been riding the EX30 a lot. The other day it was raining and I was on the neck. So yeah, I'm not thrilled. I am not thrilled at all. Wheel life, you know, it's supposed to be easy and maintenance free, but it, it's inevitable. So we'll have to start handling my problems. Or pay someone to handle them for me. Oh me, oh me. Once that screw out of there. Chopsticks. There we go, there we go. So yeah, these screws here were a bit fiddly to get out, but you can just push them down into the case. They don't go flying. What is this retarded cable? Yeah, so we'll take that out. And we'll take this up. And now we got the retarded fan cable over there. So, what have we got here? Nice, nice. Okay, let's take a closer look at the motherboard. It's a, it's a good looking motherboard. Good looking motherboard indeed. So, cable goes there to there. This is the updated packs. Updated BMS with uh, M50 LT packs. So yeah, don't don't really see much going on here. Don't know what I expected to see. Well, I I did expect maybe that there would be a fuse here, and that they could just replace the fuse. That would be awesome. But you know, that is usually motherboard mosfet issue. I'm 
this is what it sounds like when we turn it on. Well, there is slight beep and then a sound. So there we go. Now we put it all back together again. I took off the bio pads and tried the Grizzla. It was quite a difference to switch on those uh, missing the extra snap from the Clarks. When I had the, the bio pads there, there was like a sort of playfulness to it, you know, where like, you could like really access the power in a special way. And uh, I, I could still get the wheels to speed, but you run out of this, you know, so then you end up hinging a lot more there. I would prefer to be there. So, you know, if you can't get your legs forward, and something's gonna go forward and it is not favorable I would say the EX30 has been killer to ride just amazing the this EXM with this tire has been super fun to ride the other day it was raining I was on the Nikola that was super fun to ride tire pressure was a bit low because uh, I hadn't pumped it up in quite a while so yeah real life man and problems. So Sebastian got a, a flat on his S22. He had switched to the street tire and uh, ran over a screw. So that's it. And getting that tire off. Oh man. I was at his place the day before yesterday. I took the Nick. Super rainy day. The Nick is a little submarine. And uh, yeah, we couldn't get it off because I had these uh, tire levers that were made out of plastic and they were just like it's just when my EX30 starts squeaking, I ordered some, uh, I'm, I'm going to pick up some oil for that and I got a, ordered a, a syringe kind of thing and a plier so that I can put oil in, in, the, in the shock. 9 a.m. Lovely. My day off. Working and twerking. What you going to do? I guess I will pump up the Nikola a bit. I'm waiting for the syringe thing and uh, I can go to the motorcycle shop and buy fork oil. Sort of wish it was it was like entirely trouble free you know but it ain't. So what do you guys think? Is it the motherboard? It should be. Um, phase amps on the EXM are were originally 220 and then in accelerated stability firmware that was released almost two years ago I believe no over a year ago uh, that one was 240 and then subsequent versions that came after that were 245 and the firmware limit is 255 but it doesn't do anything after 245, according to the code in the firmware anyway. So, and some, some are just set to 255. I've tried some with 255, you know, hard to say, placebo. I think that if you get an RS, that is at what, 200, an RSHS? And you bump it up to the highest you can and if that's 255 and it becomes 245 it's still more right and it makes a difference even the the first version exn uh, firmware compared to the accelerated stability going from 220 to 240 there is a noticeable difference and that's in how much you can flick it you know so when you're skipping through the motor on a wheel then you are reaching the phase amp limit you can monitor that with uh I wonder if you see world shows it, but uh, but um. It was your breakout novel, mm -hmm. but um. But oh! Damn. <laughs> Sorry. But just but.
No, um, just but. <laughs> Your first novel was written more quickly. Oh, that's correct. But, um... But, oh! <laughs> How I Met Your Mother episode. Easy Dash does. And Easy Dash links have been renamed because uh, Freestyler switched it to his name Bill and so on. So, at least we got Easy Dash back. All right, so we have a, a ticket with Lumo. I bought my uh, EX30 and the XM from Lumo. We're having a little support session with them. And uh, I sent them some of the previous footage before this moment. Oh, a receipt. And they want me to open the wheel and see if I can, well, not see if I can, they want me to. <laughs> open it, disconnect the mains, discharge the motherboard, and disconnect the, the motor and see if it turns freely which is a, a good test and a fair test. They were also curious as to whether it charges or not. I don't really think I want to put a charger in here and charge it in this state, you know. Stuff, stuff could happen. So here we go again down that road. message got a message talking about oil look at that sun's out i'm gonna get a tan gonna be awesome i've been tanning i've been tanning on then sunbathing after work because i finish sometimes at four sometimes 4 30 sometimes five you know and uh yeah the sun is out until 10 so not that I would consider 10 o'clock sunbathing, but, you know, at least until, until 7, something. Let's just squeeze some, some time out of the evening, right, to get a good, good spare time balance. Sorry for making all these screwing sounds while talking. I've done worse. Yeah, boy. So let's unplug this guy, discharge, let's look at the discharge process, let's check the motor, resisting, and let's follow them cables. So we got this guy here, let's see, we got three, these three and this guy. All right, yeah, that's, that's not going to be easy to get out. I will need a, an X-Acto knife for that. All right, so this was a bit fiddly. So with the motor cable removed, or the hall sensor cable removed, the motor will still resist. Here we want to look at the order. We have green, we have blue, and we have yellow. So this one goes under here and then in. Just move that out of the way. This, this little guy is a nuisance. So as soon as I remove one, I remove the motor cable and this guy, one of the motor cables, and the wheel now turns freely. And now with the cable in, it resists again. So yeah! And uh, 
Yeah, with the fiddly diddly man. So they're gonna send a new motherboard, that's awesome. And then I'm gonna send them back the old one. So they can diagnose it, whatever, right? The gold wants it. And the EX30, I just let all the air out of the suspension. Compress the wheel all the way down. And then I felt around the, the tubes, the metal tubes, pipes, bulging pipe. And then I could feel like a scratch along one of them. So it felt like a scraping sound on the EX30 when I was twerking. Um, so yeah, I just uh, applied some uh, silicone lube and then I put some air in and then I let the suspension go up and down a bit and then I deflated it and then I put some more there at the very top because otherwise you can't access it. You can't access that part of the suspension without all the air being out. So then I applied some more and then added some air so that I can twerk it some more and then I wiped off excess lube and then I pumped it up to the tire pro to the proper tire pressure and then I got on the wheel and twerked it properly and it seemed good. Yeah. So, but I did take the Nick today, just because we're going to go to his place, and it's one flight up and no <laughs> elevator. So then it will be the Nick, right? And the Nick is just killing me, because I'm on the Nick, right? And done 25.9 kilometers, and I'm down to 96.3 volts. You know, and if I would have done that on the EXN, I would be down to 95 volts. So it's just, there's just something, man. There's something. Maybe it's my, my riding habits, but we've been going like between 40 and 50 most of the time that we've been riding. Mm. Get that screenshot there. And let's see, PWM, might as well. It was close to the beeps a couple of times. Current. Okay, well the current numbers are are satisfying to see because at some point there was a current of like 140 or something and that's just like stupidly high so the current reporting in darkness spot has been broken for a couple of generations that's all average speed 29 you know the Nick does need some speed correction I'm not using speed correction well, yeah, I guess if you Multiply this by potatoes, get like a, a hundred kilometers, you know, a hundred kilometers uh, on the Nick. And uh, the way I've been riding the EXN, it feels more like 80 kilometers, you know. So the, just something feels off about it, mm. something feels wrong about it. I haven't written it down to zero though, so maybe I should, should do that. But yeah, strange, strange world, you know, when you get the EXN and it's not really like the old EXN. Don't get back with your old EXN. <laughs> They're called EXN for a reason. <laughs> They're XM. Yeah? Yeah. Make life swell. Not the lightest wheel, but still. More than 10 pounds lighter than my theory, son. Oh boy. So yeah, this is the one we're gonna have fun with today. We had a hell of a time when I was here the other day and I just had plastic tire levers and they were just terrible, man. Terrible. Now we got proper tools. Flipping and flopping. Look at it. Look at the size. You call that a tire lever? This is a tire lever. It's Crocodile Dundee of tire levers. Damn, <laughs> damn, damn. That's serious business. We gotta be careful we don't hurt hurt no one. Ah, oh, careful for the court. Too hot. Hold on everyone, don't miss it. It's gonna change to shorts. It's gonna change to shorts, man. 
got nice underwear on though, it's cool. He's not like me. <laughs> so it's like you want something cold to drink and I'm like, you got you you happen to have a You happen to have a cold beer, maybe? And it's like, yeah. Because in they have this thing here in Sweden that uh, there's a boat to Finland. Yeah, cruise. A cruise. 24 cruise. hours. Yeah. It's back and forth. Yeah. Then on, on the open sea and they don't tax you on your beers and your cigarettes. Exactly. <laughs> it's international buy. waters, so it's like a tax free zone. Yeah. yeah. It is it would be funny if it was like entirely law free, you know. Everybody would be like <laughs> fucking pirates everywhere. Yeah, cocaine and hookers and pirates and <laughs> <laughs> damn. Be like, ahoy! <laughs> Yeah, just make a platform in the sea. Yeah. Make the stripper bar. Yeah, exactly. Something. But there was like some, some movie about that, that some people bought an island, or they didn't even bought an I buy an island. They just went down on international water and they built like a little island. Mm. Yeah. I thought we were going to say they were squatters. <laughs> <laughs> they started partying. They were partying the whole time. People started coming over from everywhere, partying. Yeah, it's crazy. Damn. Oh, yeah. Eat anything good for lunch today? Yeah. Should I show you? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna vomit? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Ma Yeah. So ma ploda, you know, people make their own food. Yeah. So look at this. Unlike America. Oh. Yeah. Chicken and curry? No, no. hold on. Creme so, fresh. <laughs> no, it's uh, chicken, sun-dried tomatoes and Ooh. basilica. Ah, okay. What's, what's basilica? Basil. Yeah, basil. Yeah. Use some cream, some light uh, Philadelphia for some extra protein. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. That's My favorite right now. That's really good. Nice, man. Good stuff. So here's his macros, as you can see. So, hold on. Okay. Total calorie, protein, fat, yeah. and divided by the amount of yeah. portions. I got 43 grams of protein. Proportion. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. That's yeah. good. That's a good benchmark. Mm. Yeah. That's what I aim for. So now we can unscrew the the fender. All right. Let's put the screws under the screw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so hold on. Is this just on for being on or? Uh, it's oh, it's because everything is looping around here. Aha, yeah, yeah. uh -huh, okay. But this is loose now. So. Oh, lovely. So I guess it doesn't matter if we put on the fender later. Yeah. Right. Just then we'll have like get less. Get the tube and the tire on yeah. place first. Exactly. Exactly. All right. That sounds like I'm touching the tube. Right? Not that it matters. Yeah, for now. So I guess we could go. Yeah, boy. So tire tire levers matter. <laughs> the plastic ones that we were fooling around with last time. Over here. Yeah, exactly. Since you're squeezing this and pushing it in. So that we get some space. Thank you, Francois, <laughs> for your suggestion. Yeah, boy. Right. There we go. Now we're making some some nice progress. Let me keep this. For it actually insurance. at this at this point oh. now it's just. Pop so off. are we going the right way? Because now we got the cable here. So I think the tire can come. Up. True, obviously. I, I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Won't matter. No, we didn't paint ourselves into a corner, as they <laughs> oh, say in fuck. Sweden. That would do it twice no. over again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Get over here. Cheers. Cheers. So something that was pretty much impossible last time became possible today, right?
So let's see. Because here, we're actually not going to take the tire off. Mm. Yes, right? it is, yeah. We're just going to take the tube off. But uh, Mamma Mia, there's a lot of air in that tube. <laughs> Why? Okay, if the... Just finger it. I've, I've, been, with the, I've been fingering stuff with all the day. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, I did the same. Like we have tube. <laughs> Hold on, let me just see something. It was here, and it was here, and it was going that way. Okay. Yeah, just that away. Yeah. So I'm gonna pump this little guy. You're gonna pump it all the way up. I have to pick the seat. Doesn't leak. Yeah. So we just pushed in the last part by hand. What's no? Did it run out of batteries? I, I tried to charge it while uh, pumping. It is like that. No, no, no. So it's out of batteries. The it's, pump. No, I think it turned off because I plugged it in. Aha, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so hold on. Now you have to take yeah. out the valve and then you have to activate it. Yeah. With consent, of course. <laughs> with consent. Careful out there, man. It's a dangerous world we live in. You don't know how old the pussy is. <laughs> you don't know, man. <laughs> Zeb was like, is this valve smaller than the previous valve? This connector feels a bit floppy. And I just yelled and I said, it's average size. <laughs> All right, show us a chin up, man. And your amazing chin up bar. Huh? Chin up. Yeah, boy. Boom. Bada boom. Bada boom. <laughs> So now we've got to reverse the polarities on everything, <coughs> which means we okay. have to start getting these into place. And the fender was connected. Yeah. Right? So let's to these. Hook them up first and then we'll take the connectors. Yeah. So, fender. I think we. Screw this onto place first. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And take the fender last. Yeah, yeah. okay, that's good. Yeah, cool. Cool. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna try some baby wipes on the wheels. Because it has a sensitive thumb. The sliders, man. There's no saving us. <laughs> Fucking sliders. And which sliders are these? Uh, the Ning Ning sliders. Ning Ning slider, man. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a Ning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's as good as it gets for now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the Ning Ning sliders were a game changer. From the way the S22, the S20 came out in the beginning, man. Jeez. And mm. some clunky suspension and some grime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now you can go wipe a baby with that. Ah, there we go. Ah, there, that feels more familiar. Yeah, I've drink <laughs> down here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>